There are snorkelers coming from the other side. We saw people swimming, and if you were in there, you could just see like glass straight through. Time to go for a swim. There's still tons of these little fish just surrounding us. guys from Lensois. I think that's what you call it. This is a small town in Chapada, Gimantina. And today we're gonna try to look for some caves. So this place is known for beautiful nature, hiking, trails, and caves with water in them. They look pretty cool from the pictures. A lot of people hire guides here and tours. But it was going to be 70 or $80 for each of us, and we have a car, so you have to be able to drive to these places, and since we have a car, we might as well use it, and hopefully we don't get lost this time. Um, it'll be an adventure. Okay. The best way to be greeted in the morning before our trip. Wish us luck, bud. So this is where we're staying. We are up the hill from the main center, probably about a five minute walk from where everybody eats and hangs out, so we're going to drive and try to find some breakfast. Very quiet here, we like it. Extremely beautiful town. You can see this river running right through it with all the rocky edges. So this is the main center of Lensois and we're staying right next to it luckily. It's super cute and it's pretty empty right now. One thing we've noticed is everyone is wearing their masks. Every single person wears other cities in Brazil. It was about 50-50. I think we found a good little place here. It's a tiny little cafe. They have acai, tapioca, and crepes. Hey. We just got our coffees and they look good. We're glad this place has outdoor seating. We always love to sit outside if we can so we can see the locals and what's going on in the town when we get to a new place. And this is a pretty cool spot. We're on a corner where we can see down four different alleyways. They're all very colorful, vibrant, people coming by. Okay, we just got our tapiocas for breakfast, one of our favorite breakfasts now. And our favorite meat is carne seca now. Dried shredded beef. This one has arugula, tomato, the carne seca, some cheese. I have a feeling that's gonna be really good. Carne seca is always good. <laughs> also, we got some guava juice. When it first arrived, it was all the way up here, but I drank a bunch. It is so good, and it only costs a dollar. So this whole meal was 56 real. That's about $11. So that's for three tapiocas, the juice, two coffees. These are some of the most colorful streets I've ever seen. And we've seen some colorful streets in Colombia, other places in Brazil, but this is something else. I love getting food from a window. So like we said, acai is different everywhere we go. This isn't the best, it doesn't seem like a pure or like a natural one, but it's not the worst. <laughs> it's very sweet, but not many places have acai here, so we'll take what we can get. 
All right, we're done with our morning routine. We are in our car and we have about an hour, a little over an hour to get to a blue cave. We're excited to see it. Hopefully it's as blue as it is in the photos we've seen. We'll check it out and see. Good sign. We see a sign for Pratina, which is where we're trying to go. And the road seems pretty drivable. This is the first sign that we've seen. Besides that, it's only road. We haven't seen any people or anything, so that is the only thing that tells us we're going the right way. We are really glad to see that. here which means it is the right spot. So she's saying it's uh, 50 or 50 real to get a... in. So this place is called Pracinha and as you can see there is a front desk where you pay, you pay ten dollars each, there's a parking lot so a lot different than a lot of the places we've been going in Brazil, which have no establishment, nothing, just kind of things in the middle of nowhere. This also does include seeing Gruta Azul, so they're kind of in the same area, very close to each other. This place is very well set up. You can tell they've designed it for tourists and people to come visit. So, one thing you can do here is zip line down. That's what these guys are about to do. That costs extra. So this is the first cave we're coming across and you can see there are snorkelers coming from the other side. The water is so clear and blue and then you have this cave covering you. This is amazing. It looks like a pool in there. Okay. This is the clearest water I've ever seen. It's just like water in a glass.
This cave is extremely beautiful. The color, the clearness of the water, the backdrop. You can see the cave goes in right here. We can't really see. Well, it's on the other side, but that's where people were snorkeling. And then you have a little inlet right here where you can take pictures, I guess. We saw people swimming, and if you were in there, you could just see like glass straight through. And then you have some cacti that are just hanging down like 20 feet down this cliff. And we think there's a group of bats in the middle of the cave there. It looks like they're sleeping. A ton of fish everywhere. Whoa. The fish are back at it. They're hungry for my skin. That feels so weird. Time to go for a swim. Feels so good. There's still tons of these little fish just surrounding us, eating our legs. Let's take a look. They've gone pretty fast. So the beach is pretty crowded, so not our favorite, but the water, just like in the cave, the cave where we were in, it's right over there. So it's the same water, the same source, so it's that crystal clear. You can see all the fish right here below us. They're very interested in us. Also, this is not salt water. It's fresh water, so it's a lot nicer to be in than the ocean. If you get it in your eyes or your oh, mouth, it's totally know. good. You can open up your eyes underwater. It's cool. There's paddle boating. It's really fun vibe over here, so make sure you see this as well when you come here. Everyone's um, having a good time. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Fish biting our feet. And sometimes you'll get really big ones that bite you, and it actually kind of hurts. <laughs> um, since you can't see how vivid blue it is from here, as always, we're going to send you up so we can see it, so really see the color of it. Alright, drum time. This is what we're walking through right now. Farmland to get to Gruta Azul. <laughs> we have arrived to Gruta Azul. You have to go down these steps. Silencio, por favor. <laughs> oh, how it's getting colder as we get in. We're not even really in the cave yet.
just left Gruta Azul. Sadly, this is one of those places that if you don't come during the right time of year, it's not gonna be as epic as the pictures show. We were waiting for a long time for the sunlight to hit. You're supposed to wait for 2.30 to 3.30. We pretty much waited till the end and it still hadn't really hit it that much. So we saw a little bit of the blueness. You can tell it would be yeah. incredible at the right time of year, right time of day. The whole cave would be illuminated blue. But I don't think we're gonna get that today. So as you guys know, we post on YouTube as much as we can, but we also have little video clips and photos that we can't post on YouTube. So if you want to see more, follow us on Instagram, Lindsay Travel Bum and Alexander Travel Bum. See you there. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, click one of these. And subscribe right here because we're traveling all around the world and we're sharing the whole thing with you. See you in the next one.